Hello everybody and welcome to another video presented by www.freeacademy.com. Today I'm going to be answering a question submitted by one of our users. And the question goes, you need to submit a graph of a potential function that would fit the following four conditions. Its domain is from 0 to 6, f of 0 equals f of 2 equals f of 4 equals f of 6 equals 2. The function is continuous everywhere except for 2 and the limit as x approaches 2 from the left equals 1 and the limit approaching from the right equals 3 as x approaches 5 from the right equals 3. Okay, sorry, a little mispronunciation there. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance for the quality of animation on this one. My tablet's battery is dead and I don't have a mouse with me. But either way, uh, this is this isn't very intensive, so I'm going to be able to do this one. All right, so let's start by sketching out A. We'll start with A. Its domain is from 0 to 6, and the closed bracket means that it's also defined on 0 and 6. Now, if those were curly braces, or parentheses, people use different notation, that would mean it's defined everywhere between 0 and 6, but not at 6 itself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by highlighting the area of the x-axis where this graph is defined on. So we're not going to be drawing anything less than 0 or anything greater than 6. Just going to be limited into this little region between 0 and 6. And some people like to do some... Uh, dotted lines going up that, just to be safe. Alright, now the next condition we know of is f of 0 equals 2. So we're going to draw that point in. I'm going to use blue for the points. f of 2 equals 2. Draw that point as well. f of 4 equals 2 and f of 6 equals 2. Okay, f is continuous everywhere except for at x equals 2. So now what this is telling us that at this point here, the graph is going to do something that it's not supposed to. We're going to have a discontinuity of some sort. Now the other thing it says is the limit as x approaches 2 from the left equals f of 1. So what that means is we have some sort of line that creates a hole, and there's going to be a hole at 2. Then the graph is going to jump up to 2, and then it's going to start doing something else. And before I start drawing the rest of this graph, I want to catch this other limit here. The limit as x approaches 5 from the right of f of x equals 3. So that means we're going to have a hole at 3 as well. Well, actually, it won't be a hole. It'll be a point at 3 because it's con continuous everywhere except at 2. So now it's just a matter of connecting the dots once we know these things. And right there is an example of a function that's continuous meeting all of the four conditions. But it doesn't have to be limited to just this either. I could have very easily have drawn a line that did something like this. Just as long as it hit all the different points that we have and we drew the hole at 2. Now one last thing I'm going to do to be specific here is I'm going to draw point, I'm going to draw dots at 0 and 6 just to show very very explicitly that this graph is defined between 0 and 6. And that answers that question. Please send in some more videos. We're happy to answer them all.